Yo guys, I'm Nick from Produce School and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a tape stop effect. But before the video starts, I want to say something about the Product Genier project. The Product Genier project are an online collective who teach you how to produce electronic dance music without knowing any music theory. They are giving away a brand new pair of KRK Rocket 6 for free, shipped to one producer anywhere in the world. So it doesn't matter if you live in America or in Dubai, it doesn't matter, they ship it to everywhere in the world. Click the link in the description to enter, so if you want to win a set of KRK Rocket 6, enter in the link in the description. Now let's go back to the video. <laughs> First thing we need for a tape stop effect is a tape stop VST. You can download it on this site and I will uh, link this site in the description as well. You just go to the site, go to this block and download the Windows 32 bit VST plugin bundle. You will get a bunch of other plugins, but today we will only lose, use the blue tape stop. Add it to your effect library. If you don't know how to do that, we already made a video on that. And now we can use it in FL Studio. I made this little uh, chord progression to apply the tape stop on, and it sounds like this. So the next thing we're going to do is open up the mixer and select the D-Blue Tape Stop VST. You will get this super simple window with, with three knobs, but we're only going to use the first and the second knob. The first knob will determine or will activate your tape stop. And the second one will determine how much your tape stop will slow down the sound. So for example, uh, 1 will slow down much more than 0 0.10 or something. So let's just leave it on the normal standards. How you can activate the trigger is right click, uh, create automation clip. And then you can just draw where you want your tape stop to come in. So for example, I want it here. Just draw a little box. And now I will let you hear the difference between much slowdown and less slowdown. So for example, if I put this on one, you will hear that it almost suddenly stops. But then you won't get the best tape stop effects. So I recommend you to just pull it down to maybe around 50 or just the normal standards. I think 50 is already too much. can just leave it on this, but if you want another uh, result, you can just pull it up or down, just what you want. That was it for today, make sure to download the software, it's free and you hear it in a lot of tracks, so why not use it, it's super simple to use and i see you guys next time.